ready to dive into the heart of Colombia and explore the lush landscapes, innovative culture, and warm spirit of Medellin? Before you zip up your suitcase, allow us to take you on a virtual journey through how to spend three days in Medellin, Colombia. Stay with us as we reveal the secrets of this dynamic city, from its transformational history to its vibrant nightlife and beyond. We've got all the insider knowledge and hidden treasures that go far beyond any ordinary travel guide. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more captivating travel stories from around the globe. Best Time to Visit Medellin The city of Eternal Spring shines brightest from December to February and from July to August. These months offer the perfect balance of warm days and cool nights ideal for exploring. Medellin shines as the backdrop to a series of spectacular events, making it essential to check the festival calendar ahead of your trip. Noteworthy events to anticipate include Feria de las Flores. This is Medellin's most vibrant celebration, the Festival of Flowers, which blooms every August. It features a spectacular array of street performances, parades, and an abundance of flowers, captivating the essence of the city's lively spirit. Fiesta de la Musica Every June, Medellin comes alive with the sounds of both traditional and modern Colombian music. The festival offers live performances across all music genres, providing a rich, auditory feast for the ears. Alumbrados Navidanos When the holiday season approaches, Medellin transforms into a wonderland of festive lights. The Christmas Lights Festival, held in November and December, dazzles millions of visitors with its extraordinary display of holiday spirit. Getting Around Medellin Medellin's modern metro system is not just a mode of transportation, it's a gateway to exploring the city's vibrant neighborhoods and lush greenery. A day pass, costing around 5 USD, offers unlimited rides on metro trains and cable cars, which provide not only accessibility, but breathtaking views of the city and its surrounding valleys. For those looking to dive deeper into local life, the integrated bus system reaches even the most hidden gems with single rides costing less than one USD. Adventurous travelers can also opt for bike rentals, available at numerous spots across the city for approximately 10 USD per day. Where to stay in Medellin? El Poblado is the heart of Medellin's tourism, boasting a wide array of hostels, hotels, and luxury accommodations. Prices here range from 15 USD per night for a hostel to 120 USD for a high-end hotel room. For those seeking a more authentic experience, the Laureles neighborhood offers a cozy, local vibe with accommodations averaging 30 to 60 USD per night. Medellin Airport Tips Jose Maria Cordova International Airport serves as the main gateway to Medellin. Located about 45 minutes from the city center, travelers can opt for a taxi ride costing approximately 20 USD or take a shared shuttle service for around 5 USD. Planning arrival times with traffic in mind is crucial as Medellin's rush hours can significantly extend travel times. Day 1. Explore Medellin's Heart Morning. Walking tour in the historic center of Medellin. The heart of Medellin, known as El Centro, stands as a pivotal destination for anyone visiting the city. Medellin's transformation over the years is remarkable, yet when exploring El Centro, a degree of caution is advisable. While the primary thoroughfares remain largely safe during daylight hours, venturing into the narrower, less traveled alleys should be avoided. Our exploration of El Centro was independently undertaken, guided by advice from locals on areas to steer clear of. Despite this, the experience was intense and, candidly, not the highlight of our three-day stay in Medellin. For a richer and more secure experience, I highly recommend partaking in a guided walking tour of the historic center. A well-informed guide not only enhances safety, but also deepens your understanding of Medellin's rich cultural and historical tapestry. Consider the free walking downtown tour of Medellin, available daily except Sundays. Starting at 9.30 a.m., this three-hour journey covers key landmarks like Plaza Botero, Parque de las Luces, and the Metropolitan Cathedral. While the tour itself is complimentary, tipping your guide is encouraged to acknowledge their expertise and insight, which vividly brings Medellin's history to life. Mid-morning, 
Museo di Antioquia. As your exploration comes to an end, return to Plaza di Botero and visit the Museo de Antioquia, a haven of Colombian artistry. This museum showcases an extensive array of works by Colombian luminaries, such as Fernando Botero and Pedro Nel Gomez, spreading across four floors. Through captivating paintings and sculptures, the Museo de Antioquia narrates Medellin's intricate history. With its collection marked by incredible uniqueness and variety, it's advisable to dedicate approximately two hours to thoroughly engage with each level. Admission to the museum is priced at approximately six USD, with tickets available for purchase directly at the museum. Jardin Botanico di Medellin. The next highlight of your Medellin adventure is a serene stroll through the Jardin Botanico di Medellin, the city's tranquil botanical gardens. This green haven boasts a variety of plant species that could rival the biodiversity found in some of the country's national parks. After exploring the Museo di Antioquia, catch the A Metro line at Park Berrio Station and alight at Universidad CII 73 Station. A brief walk from here leads you to the Jardin Botanico. Admission to the gardens is free, and they welcome visitors daily from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. Note that it's closed on Mondays. Allocate ample time to wander through the various areas within the garden, including a captivating butterfly exhibit, an orchid pavilion, and a quaint lake. During your visit, be on the lookout for iguanas that call these gardens home. Many of them are quite large, making them easy to spot and a unique addition to your garden experience. Lunch. Just a stone's throw away from the Jardin Botanico di Medellin, you'll find Restaurant In Situ, a hidden culinary gem nestled within the garden itself. This restaurant offers a serene dining experience with views that complement its gourmet, locally sourced cuisine. For a truly memorable lunch, order the Trout a la Jardinera, a dish that perfectly marries fresh, local flavors with innovative cooking techniques. Paired with a side of their aromatic, herb-infused rice and a refreshing herbal lemonade, your taste buds are in for a treat. The cost for this delightful meal is around 15 USD, offering both value and an unforgettable dining experience. Afternoon, Park Explora. A mere stone's throw away, less than 10 minutes from the botanical gardens, you'll discover Park Explora, Medellin's beloved science museum. This isn't just any museum. Park Explora also houses the city's enormous freshwater aquarium, the largest in South America, along with a planetarium and various interactive play areas. The museum's thematic exhibitions are designed to be hands-on and interactive, proving to be as much a joy for adults as they are for children. For those traveling with youngsters, this museum promises a day packed with fun, potentially occupying your entire day. Among the exhibits you'll encounter include the renowned dinosaur display, a music showcase, and a plethora of physics demonstrations. However, when you're on a mission to explore Medellin in just three days, it's advisable to limit your visit to approximately two hours. General admission costs around 12 USD, and if you decide to add a visit to the planetarium, the total cost comes to 18 USD. Tickets can be purchased online beforehand or directly at the museum. Evening, Pueblito Paisa. Catch an Uber for a swift 10-minute ride to Pueblito Paisa, the perfect climax to your inaugural day in Medellin. For those bursting with energy, an alternative route involves taking the metro coupled with a 25-minute ascent on foot, though personally, I'd opt for the more direct approach. Pueblito Paisa, a quaint replica of a traditional local village, not only exudes charm but also offers some of the most stunning vistas in Medellin. Featuring a picturesque cobblestone plaza, an alfresco theater, and vibrantly painted houses, Pueblito Paisa underwent a renovation in 2021. It now boasts an inviting collection of Colombian restaurants, food kiosks, and souvenir outlets. Align your visit to coincide with sunset for an extraordinary experience. While the area becomes quieter post-sunset, lingering a bit longer to witness Medellin illuminate under the night sky is utterly magical. Without a doubt, exploring Pueblito Paisa ranks as a highlight on my Medellin adventure, making it an unmissable stop on your journey. Dinner. Just a short walk from Pueblito Paisa, you'll find Restaurante Hatavio, an enchanting spot that captures the essence of traditional Colombian cuisine. 
With its cozy ambiance and panoramic views of Medellin, it's the perfect place to unwind after a day of exploration. Dive into their signature dish, Bandeja Paisa, a hearty platter featuring beans, rice, chorizo, avocado, and more, truly embodying the spirit of Antioquia. Expect to spend around 15 USD for a meal that not only promises to satisfy your hunger, but to transport you through the rich flavors of Colombia. Don't miss out on this culinary gem for an authentic dining experience. Exploring Medellin's Marvels Morning, Comuna 13 Tour A trip to Medellin is incomplete without experiencing Comuna 13, a symbol of the city's remarkable transformation. Once notorious, it's now a favorite spot of mine. Celebrated for its vibrant murals and graffiti that bring its streets to life, the neighborhood's revival is best appreciated through a guided tour, revealing the power of art in overcoming its once dark history. The tour not only offers insights into local culture, but also includes a scenic cable car ride, street dance performance, Colombian ice cream, and a refreshing local drink. Thanks to street escalators, navigating the steep terrain is a breeze, though comfortable shoes are still recommended for the best experience. Lunch After your captivating tour of Comuna 13, refuel at Café Cliché, a hidden gem just a stone's throw away from the vibrant streets you've explored. This cozy spot is famed for its fusion of local flavors and international cuisine. Dive into their signature dish, the Bandeja Paisa, with a modern twist, a must-try that perfectly encapsulates the spirit of Medellin on a plate. Pair it with their refreshing homemade lemonade for the ultimate midday feast. Expect to spend around 10 USD for a meal that promises to delight your taste buds and energize you for the rest of your day's adventures. Afternoon, El Poblado. Discover a contrasting side of Colombian life with a visit to El Poblado, Medellin's most upscale district. Known for its tourist-friendly atmosphere, it's likely you'll find yourself staying here. Conveniently, the Comuna 13 tour starts and ends at the El Poblado metro station, placing you right in the heart of the action for further exploration. El Poblado buzzes with activity, characterized by its towering apartment buildings, high-end eateries, and chic bars all contributing to its sophisticated charm. While renowned for its lively nightlife, the cafe culture here is equally remarkable. Among the plethora of coffee spots, Pergamino Cafe stands out, showcasing the unparalleled quality of Colombian coffee. Indulge in a cup of their expertly roasted coffee paired with a slice of the acclaimed red velvet cake for an unforgettable treat. If you're in the mood for something more substantial, their smoothie bowls and sourdough sandwiches come highly recommended from personal experience. Evening, Park Arvi. Spend your evening at Park Arvi, an hour from central Medellin. Famous for its nature trails and archeological significance, it's a highlight for any three-day visit. Offering activities like horseback riding, zip lining, and various hiking trails tailored to your interests in views, wildlife, or flora, most of which are easy and under two hours. Even if you're not up for a hike, the cable car ride to the park is a must-do for its stunning vistas, showcasing Medellin's unique public transport feature. Getting there involves a metro ride from El Poblado on Line A, transferring to Acevedo to the K-Line, and then taking the L cable car from Santo Domingo directly to Park RV. The transition between the A and K lines is seamless, but you need a separate ticket for the L cable car. Initially, we considered an Uber for convenience, but encountered a difficult route and traffic jams, highlighting the metro and cable car as not only safer, but also more enjoyable options offering spectacular views over the city's traffic. Dinner. After a day of exploring the wonders of Park Arvi, treat yourself to an authentic culinary experience at restaurant El Tambo, nestled just a short distance from the park's entrance. Known for its cozy ambiance and breathtaking views of the surrounding nature, El Tambo offers a menu that perfectly captures the essence of Colombian cuisine. Dive into their signature dish, the Bandeja Paisa, a hearty platter that gives you a taste of the region's flavors with beans, rice, chorizo, avocado, and more, all for around 10 USD. It's the perfect way to refuel and reflect on your adventures in Medellin's natural paradise. Day 3. Discover the magic of Colombia. Day trip to Guatape. Medellin is a mere two-hour journey from the enchanting town of Guatape. 
a destination so stunning, it's a must visit during your stay. Traveling to Guatape is straightforward. A direct bus from Medellin's Terminal Norte costs around 3.5 USD. Just head to booth 14 on the ground floor to catch your ride. In Guatape, you're greeted with a plethora of sights and activities. The towering Guatape Rock, a climb over 700 steps, offers breathtaking views of the surrounding reservoir, making it a highlight of my two-week Colombia trip. Other essentials include a boat tour near Pablo Escobar's former vacation home and strolling the vibrant streets, especially the famous Calle del Recuerdo. For those hesitant about navigating public transport, numerous organized day trips are available covering transportation, hotel transfers, and meals. Consider an overnight stay to fully immerse yourself in Guatape's tranquil charm, with unique glamping options available. Our stay at Bosco was unforgettable, offering comfortable accommodations in a bubble with incredible views and a pool overlooking the lake. As our journey through Medellin comes to a close, we hope you're buzzing with excitement and filled with inspiration for your own adventure in this vibrant Colombian city. From scaling the heights of Guatape Rock to exploring the colorful streets of Comuna 13, Medellin promises an unforgettable blend of culture and history and natural beauty. Remember, the real magic of travel lies in the unexpected moments and the connections you make along the way. If you found this guide helpful, please give this video a thumbs up and share it with fellow travelers looking to uncover the wonders of Medellin. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more guides and tips to fuel your wanderlust. Until next time, keep exploring, keep dreaming, and let the world surprise you. Safe travels and we'll see you in our next adventure!